nothing like a pre-locals meal. Right, Alpha? All right, we got our coffee too. What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Spanko, and we're back at Locals today. It's actually pretty busy. Let me take, show you guys what it looks like. Okay, there it is. Yeah, Locals pretty busy today. We're back at Locals. We're playing a new deck, so forgive me if I misplay today. Hi, right, Alpha. All right, so you guys are going to have to forgive me today because we are playing Voices Voice, a deck that I just picked up, and I was start, starting to learn. I know the combos. I know kind of how the deck works, but again, I've never actually played it out of Locals yet, so I'm going to have to learn how to put it together and, you know, play it properly. Oh, no, no, no. And play it properly today because I think that, honestly, at the end of the day, even if you know the combo lines, even if you know the theory, actually playing it is the most important thing that you guys can do. That's what we're doing in today's video. I, uh... Hope we do well, honestly. Again, my first time on the deck. If I don't do well, guys, actually, no, we're not, we're not gonna focus on that. We are gonna top today. I'm gonna learn as we go and we'll see what ends up happening. So with that being said, I think we gotta sign up now. We still have some time. People are just getting in. So let's sign up and then I'll see you guys after our first round. Let's go. So I just want to show you guys what the deck looks like. This is the branded build of Voices Voice. So it's just your standard Voices Voice stuff, but you have the branded engine. The branded engine is really good going first and going second. This deck, I think, is pretty consistent. So I shouldn't be too worried about it bricking, hopefully. And then, uh, yeah, it's a 41 card main deck. Actually, it's not 40 on the dot because I'm playing the 1DD Crow. The 1DD Crow in the main is specifically to make this. This is really good into Apple or any of those decks that are making Apple or, you know, SP and whatnot. So I like this. This is the branded engine. Not too big of an engine over here. And then just standard stuff that you guys are going to see in uh, the voices voice deck so i'm excited to play this today i think it's going to be a really good deck this is my side deck again side deck is always going to be up to personal preference based off of your locals i'm excited to play this deck i think this deck is really powerful in today's format so uh, i'm excited for how today goes so you guys are going to see game two of our round one over here i explain game one later on in the video so you guys will see that but game two i'm actually able to set up a full board with our skull guardian as well as our low untargetable i have the negate i have the trap pop but you guys are going to see that i have to negate the albaz here and then what he's going to end up doing is making mirror jade now mirror jade banish doesn't actually target and that's the whole point of my deck is that i have a boss monster that can't be targeted However, Mirror J gets around that. And you guys are going to be able to see that is just too much to play around at this point. He's going to have full follow up, and his board is just way too strong. I'm playing on two cards, and I end up losing the game. Honestly, guys, I. Yeah. Oh, that was. Well, that was not good. That was not good. Let me just tell you guys what happened. I'll place you guys over here. I don't like this spot. One second. Eventually. There we go. Okay, so I want to tell you guys my round one. We were playing up against Branded Despia, and I don't. There's definitely way, like areas I misplayed. You guys can check out actually the full match on uh, the Spanko Duels channel. And I already know I'm going to get a lot of hate on that uh, on that video because I did misplay. However, my round my my round one, my, my, my hand, my first hand in game one, I drew double diviner Trius Hierarchia. Now, Trius in hand is actually not that bad, but the branded player went first and he had set branded banishment, the one, the, the trap card that super polys essentially. I was not playing around that whatsoever because he, he hard drew it, right? So I didn't see him search it. And essentially what happened was I start playing I thought my combo was going to go through. I'm like, you know what? Diviner sent Entis, pop a card, and then I can have this Trius still, right? I should have just chained the Trius to Diviner. But uh, essentially what happened, because he had the trap and he had lost, I couldn't respond to the trap, which means I couldn't tribute my Diviner, which means I couldn't get my combos going. So game one got the, like absolutely obliterated. And then game two, I think I misplayed. I went first. Uh, I went the full combo, the standard line with low plus uh, Skull Guardian plus a trap. And uh, I thought it was okay, but he had Mirror Jade access. I didn't have any hand traps. He had Mirror Jade access. He got rid of my Skull Guardian, and I forgot that Prayers in the Graveyard has an effect when a Ritual Monster leaves the field. So completely misplay on my part. Again, it's my first time playing the deck at our actual locals, and 100%, I lost that round, and I deserve to lose that round because I did not play optimally. But you know what? That's what today is for. Today is to learn exactly what to do, how to play this deck, and how to get better with this deck. That's what today is. So that being said, that was a pretty quick round. I have some time to chill. Let me go see if I can make some trades. All right, yo, before next round i actually got a crazy deal here so we got our msetis we got the entire horus package over here and i'm excited because i actually had some deck profiles i wanted to do with these cards but i wanted to do them on paper and now that i have the entire horus engine i can actually do it for you guys so i'm excited because i have another engine that we can use for deck profiles for locals and all the this is a really powerful engine like, i'm really excited to own this now because i think it's really good and it's going to be really fun to showcase here on the channel hey hey show the deck no, show him the deck. <laughs> it wouldn't have done enough. I needed more. Oh, yeah, I had to battle. 
I open these two cards every single game. Though. That was my first drink in two rounds. Oh my god. I also really need to go to the washroom. But I want to talk to you guys first. Okay, so we went from 0 and 1 to two and one let's go okay so i didn't get any footage of our round two i decided to do another feature match but our round three we ended up playing against purely sprite which we actually ended up taking 2-0 that matchup was pretty good i mean i'm gonna be honest i had valor imperm and valor imperm into purely is really good so like i just said valor imperm is really good into purely so you guys are gonna see i'm able to pretty much stop his full board now my hand was actually a brick i opened zero engine cards however Brand Diffusion is able to make it so that I can make a Mirror Jade. I have a Lubelion. Now he tried to SP, but I had Saravis to save it. And at this point, I was just playing Branded Beatdown until I won the match. And then around two into Fire King, I had Bell for the, I had two Bell in hand actually. One, I think it was game two. So I Bell him on the first Flamberge and then he tries to Flamberge again on the following turn. I had Bell again enough to otk on the follow-up right so enough to beat our round two opponent so we're two and one right now i know this was kind of a short synopsis the round three i'll actually have footage of so i'll put that up for you guys to see and take a better look but again full duel is going to be on the dual channel so i think i'm getting better with the deck i'm noticing that my first round all the misplays that i made i was thinking of in my round two and my round three and then i'm not making those same mistakes in those extra rounds right so it did help that i had better hands i'm gonna be honest with you because my round one i had uh my, the the diviner trias round two i also actually also had that same exact hand but uh luckily i had more gas in my hand so it was a little bit better i had the brand infusion i feel better as the day goes on i can feel myself getting more confident on the deck getting more strong on the deck which honestly is all that i wanted to do today today what i really wanted to get done is actually learn the deck and get a feel for it now we do have one more round so hopefully we can finish three and one if we're able to finish three and one at least we get our top and we get some prizing and stuff which would be really nice so Let's see how the rest of the day goes. I'm gonna see if I can get footage of the last round, but I wanna get some cool like decks for the dual channel. So I might do something else. Someone else is playing Crystal Beast. I know we got Magic Spectre earlier. We'll see how it goes, but two and one. Not too bad so far. Soon after. All right, team. We uh, lost in the final round. So we went two, two. I don't, I, I wanna say I, I, I didn't misplay. I think there was one point I was playing around something that kind of didn't exist in my uh, game three. I had Bell in my hand and he went Flamberge. I had also a Nib in my hand. And I was like, okay, he had Arvada in Grave. And if he gets Arvada on board, it means, cause he had Circle in hand. So I'm like, if he gets Arvada on board, it means that I have no way to nib him because he has a nib negate that's what i was trying to avoid so i i kind of preemptively nibbed and then i realized later and this is my bad i realized later that circle only destroys fire monsters on field at that point the only card he had on field was uh actually an ip which is not a fire monster so that was definitely my bad however other than that though i will say it was a pretty successful day of course yes going two and two is not the greatest obviously in the world in terms of record however i will say the really nice thing was i got to learn the deck a little bit more which was honestly the best like that was a goal right and on top of that you know i played against pretty much all meta and honestly like that's what it came down to it came down to just me trying to learn as much as possible so thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you at the end of the day we did get some pretty cool trades we did get the horus engine which i think is going to be really cool in uh for, for future videos and whatnot and uh yeah it's a pretty good day i'm not too upset about it so thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want more vlog content like this one i love doing these kind of vlogs so if you guys want to see that let me know in the comment section down below make sure to like and subscribe if you guys do enjoy these videos thank you guys all for watching and with that thank you signing out peace